Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey whilst crouching. Uh, we've respawned here because this is the last story moon we got. That's something that it does during the story when you load the game back up. It's kind of weird. Uh, I'm still using the Elgato software rather than OBS because on MacOS you don't actually have a driver for it. You just have to use their software, which is kind of annoying. Uh, if I were using Shutter's Windows, then it would work, but no, I'm still using the Elgato software. I messed with the volume levels though, so hopefully this will be easier to hear than before. Uh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Uh, I'll just hop on down here. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da, and cash in these moons. See, the reason I didn't want to cash them in last episode is because this leads into a fairly substantial amount of extra content after the level, so I didn't want to make the video too long. Anyway, uh, you get some cute music if you jump on the Odyssey's globe like that, or you can just throw Cappy at the globe. There we go. Cash in all those moons. Uh, I have turned down the game audio quite a bit, so hopefully like, I will still be audible and the audio will be audible and it sounded okay in my testing, so we should be alright. We'll see though. Anyway, the Odyssey's powered up. We can now theoretically go to, I believe, the Metro Kingdom is what it'll tell us. Yeah, the Metro Kingdom. However, when we take off to go to the Metro Kingdom, we may run into a small problem. It's Mario time for who? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it starts out looking just like traveling to a normal kingdom. Just with this, this cutscene and all that. Yeah, I will skip this movie. Yeah, it's pretty weird. You're right, Cappy. Uh, yeah, I know how to do a capture on hold. Thank you. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. So we interrupted on our way to the Metro Kingdom because we spot Bowser's airship. There it is. So rather than going to Metro, we're gonna have a little bit of a fight here in the Nimbus Arena we're about to arrive in. I forget whether we arrive before or after the rest of this cutscene. Anyway, there's Bowser. Fancy hat and all. You can see some of the stuff she's been stealing up there. The binding band from Tostarina, which we had no hope of getting because we couldn't get through the story there. You can't actually get it anyway, she always takes it, but yeah. Ah yes, here we are, the Cloud Kingdom, Nimbus Arena. So here you don't need to get any moons. There are a few moons here that we can get later on, but you don't actually need to get any of them to proceed at this point. You actually have to just go over there and fight against Bowser in the first battle in the game against her. It's pretty easy normally, but it may be a bit more difficult under these conditions. You'll see why in a moment. Once we start the fight, which is happening now, of course. Okay, you have a good point. Also, there's Peach. I don't know where these first piranha plants came from. Like, flowers were stolen, but they weren't those flowers. I don't know. I guess they were from Steam Gardens, but the ones at Steam Gardens were quite a bit bigger and spat poison, so I don't know. Anyway, Bowser's attack is the same as Mario's attack because that's what this game is about. <laughs> uh, basically, you have to hit her hat with Cappy, like that, and then you can wear it. Which is what's worrying me a little bit, because it turns out your normal moveset is still active while you're wearing this hat. Um, which might make things a little tricky, because we need to punch her with her own hat. <laughs> and that is replaced with rolling on the ground, like most other things. Oh, actually, no, we're fine, okay. That's easier than I thought it would be. So yeah, we sort of get our hat and do that again. Also, the music here is fantastic, so I might just be a bit quieter so you can hear it. It's really good. 
There we go. So yeah, you can still use your normal moveset when you're wearing the hat. But the Y button also punches, unlike with Cappy Throws where it's replacing. Where the roll replaces your Cappy Throw, you still punch while rolling. So that makes things fairly easy in this fight, I, I would think. I was concerned I'd have to keep jumping in order to punch, but you don't. So, no problem. Okay, I'm glad that fake hat had a heart in it for some reason. Okay. So yeah, that's that whole fight. It's very short and very easy. Uh, you do a very similar fight near the end of the game, which is a bit harder, but still pretty easy. Uh, I was worried about it, but no, it turns out to be very easy, even while permanently crouching. So, that's the Cloud Kingdom done. As mentioned, there are some moons here, but we won't be getting them. Because this is about to happen. Instead. Yeah, the Odyssey is now wrecked, and we're gonna fall. Oh, oh, look how cute Tiara is. What a sweetie. I love her so much. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, so, yeah, Bowser's now blown up the Odyssey. It can only be repaired by giving it a bunch of power moons, because, of course, that's just how it works. <laughs> so for now, we're in Forgotten Isle, which is, I think, probably my favourite kingdom in the game. Possibly. Maybe Lake Lamode. I really like Forgotten Isle, though. Anyway. So, yeah, the Odyssey is all busted up, as Cappy tells us. So, th basically, we just need to find some moons here. There are no story moons in, in the Lost Kingdom, so we have to worry about whether we need to skip those or not. There's just generic moons, basically. Uh, the somewhat unique part of this kingdom, which can be a bit of a challenge, is the fact that when we walk this way, a cutscene will activate. Once we've walked far enough, I think it's about here? Yeah. In which Klepto here steals away Cappy. Which, of course, restricts our moveset quite a bit. Uh, you can actually get enough moons without saving Cappy, but we're going to save her because she's a sweetheart and I love her. So, let's do that. Uh, thankfully, we do have enough moves to still make it there without access to our cat companion. It's just a little harder. <laughs> yeah, our moveset is greatly restricted. <laughs> uh, we can still ground pound out of a backflip, which is good because we need to ground pound to rescue her. We gotta basically ground pound one of these things to do it. Uh, I think we probably have to actually climb up here and flip these stairs around to get up. Oops. Is there like time limit or anything? So let's keep crying for help forever, but I wanted to do it reasonably quickly because she's precious. Oh no! Okay, I hit the checkpoint, so that's not a big deal. I'll respawn in a moment. Back where I was. Yep. Okay. Hit another wiggle of it, not a problem. Okay, so this this here bird is gonna just land over there. All we have to do is backflip up here, ground pound this, and Cappy is saved. And we can go talk to her and she'll get back on our head and we have our move set back. What a sweetie. Yeah, let's pluck up our spirits. What a good idea. Anyway, now we have Cappy back. So we have our full move set again, and we can make use of that to gather 10 power moves, which we'll be doing now. So there's one here. Uh, the butterflies give you a bit of a hint. Also, if you stand here, you can feel a bit of a rumble from the controller. Choo choo, another hint. bum! Yeah! So that's two already. There is a 2D section in this level, down here, which I think we can actually do, which is kind of exciting because we haven't been able to do any 2D sections so far. 
Uh, no, we can't do that one either. Okay, I did think that pipe was sideways, but it's clearly not, so... Yeah, we can't, we can't do that one either. Yet another 2D section we have no access to. Some of them don't have the pipe vertical, in which case we can get in. And those ones we'll be able to do, but very few of them are like that, it turns out. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. Yeah! There's way more than 10 moons here, so not being able to get that particular one is no, no kind of problem. We can still make our way through without it. Although if we fall in the poison, that doesn't really help. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, if we capture a tropical wiggler and collect those moon shards, that's one easy way to get a certain moon, but oh my goodness. I might end up doing that because there's a lot of poison around here and it's kind of hard to navigate past all the poison with our restricted move set. Uh, there's a moon under there that we can get. It's easiest to do with a wiggler, you, you can do it without one, but then you fall in the poison afterwards, so... Less than ideal, really. Oops. Wow, I bunked against... A leaf. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess this is just the kingdom of many bonks, I don't know. Anyway, well, we want to go up here because if we grab on this one, that unlocks this area, which is useful to us because there's a moon in there. Ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. Yeah! Uh, some of these moons you can quite easily get before rescuing Cappy. That's what I did on my first run, but... I felt bad about it, so... Rescuing Cappy is a priority. Also, it would be quite hard to do that without Cappy, without our other moves. Which we would have happened if we tried to do it without rescuing her. Uh, another moon down here, very easy to reach. Yeah! Okay, we're halfway there. So yeah, this one's just completely sandbox, because there's no story at all. You just have to wander around and grab whatever moons you can find. That's right, Cappy. Half the power moons we need. I'm very proud of you, sweetheart. Okay, there is one over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we're having some trouble with our moveset right now. Um, basically because when you do a dive, you're still rolling, so you can't easily land on a small platform. And you can't ground pound. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's a moon hiding inside of here. So that's six. We just need ten, so we're making good progress. This is probably going to be a short video. I'm not going to do the whole next kingdom because it's like the biggest part of the game. Uh, we can go up here. What you're supposed to do here is throw Cappy at those weird enemy things and then Ca they get caught by Cappy. And then they launch off and explode those blocks. But I... Wait, they don't get caught by Cappy. They catch Cappy. But I don't really want to get Cappy caught by them. Oh. See? It's, it's just... It's a little... A little scary. I don't want it to get caught, so I'm going to try to avoid that happening. You can actually skip around all of these. It's just a little tricky with our moves. There we go. So here where the butterflies are, there is, of course, another moon hiding. Yeah! Um, we've almost made our way up to 10 moons. So, we're nearly done here. This is, this is gonna be a short sort of video. Short-ish, it's 14 minutes already. Uh, this is pretty... This should be pretty easy. I'm having a bit of trouble with it. Um, yeah, we can still wall jump normally, and this is basically just wall jumping fast, so... There we go. I'm not sure what I was doing wrong there. Anyway, yeah, you just climb up here. There's a toad at the top who wants you to shop at this shop that they can't figure out why no one's shopping here. At the very top of the Rocky Mountain Summit, which is kind of hilarious. Um, there's a glide on here, the first one we've seen in the game, actually. Uh, there is one, there is a glide on in Tostarena, but they just, like, like, he doesn't show up until after you've done the story. So the first one we've seen in this run is this one. We will be getting some help from him because I'm planning to go for that moon over there. 
as far as I know, you have to use Glide on to get over there because it's quite far and you gotta glide and all that. A few other places you need Glide on to get to, but that's pretty much the main reason he's there. We're not gonna get back to a high place from here. Yeah, Cappy expects you to use the one in um, Tostarina first, I think. Yeah, we sure did. Hey, that reminds me. Um, in, I've seen a lot of hacks and stuff where they've made Cappy say random nonsense. Like, you know, the name of their level, for example, and authorship, and like, like wacky comments, I guess, which they're just out of character, and I, it frustrates me a lot because Cappy is really, really cute and precious, and I love her. And I think if you're going to be putting in messages and stuff into your hack, they should be in character, or they should be not said by Cappy so that they don't, you know, mess with their characterization. <laughs> <sighs> she's just, you know, I just, I just have feelings for this, this, this hat. She's important to me. <laughs> uh, there's a moon around there. That's easiest to get using a tropical wiggler, but I think we can do it without one. So, yeah, that's totally doable. Uh, I'm just not sure what the best way to do it is. Maybe it's like a cap bounce, or. So. Yeah, there's some poison there, so you, yeah, you gotta watch out for that. <laughs> um, we're at 9 out of 10 moons, so basically just gotta do this one or another one around here somewhere. Uh, we could buy a moon, actually. We haven't done that yet in this run. I do want to check something to do with buying moons. I might not actually buy any, but I wanted to check if... Yeah, I know there's two kinds of coins. Yeah, okay, you're only allowed to buy one moon. Right. It's it's weird. Um, Once you've actually cleared the story, all of the stores in the game have unlimited moons to buy rather than just the one. So I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Because you don't really unlock a lot of stuff at that point for having all the moon, for having a certain number of moons. You unlock stuff for getting like particular moons. But I don't know, it's weird. It's a strange design. Uh, we can get that butterfly, but it's going to be really fiddly. Basically, you have to get a certain distance and throw a Cappy, but we have trouble throwing Cappy precisely. So... <laughs> Might do something else. Uh, this block hiding over here. Sort of hiding is very conspicuous. You can just break that. There's a couple of purple coins in there. There aren't any moons. Also, the camera will not follow you in here, so if you happen to be crawling around very slowly, you might have some trouble figuring out exactly where to go. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know if we can do that quickly enough. You have to make all of those bloom by throwing Cappy at them, but, you know, we have some trouble throwing Cappy on the ground, and quickly, and on the ground quickly. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a moon hidden in that block that's sparkling a little bit, but to get it, you have to use these guys, and I don't want to have to throw a Cappy at one of them and get a caught again. After I promised I wouldn't have that happen. <laughs> uh, so I'll give that moon up there another shot. Okay, I think you just have to come from down here to get to it. Yeah, this video is going to be short, uh, but not that much shorter, because I keep giving myself self-imposed challenges and stuff. Okay, so I need to do the backflip from a little bit further away for this to work. So some of the coins from when I died are now just sort of hanging out there. That's an interesting feature of this game. You can recollect the ten coins if they landed somewhere where you can get to. If they fell in the poison, like the other ones did, then they're gone. It's sort of vaguely like in, you know, Shovel Knight or Dark Souls or one of those games where you lose stuff but you can get it back after dying. But it's just 10 coins, so it's not really a big deal in this game. <laughs> anyway, that's 10 moons. Um, we can now head back to the Odyssey and repair it, and we're going to do that right now. Uh, and then that's going to be the end of this video, because we're not moving on the Metro in the same video because it's, it's long. 
Uh, anyway, yeah, we just get Cappy onto the globe, eventually. Also, Mario is covered in soot from the Odyssey being all burnt up, which is kind of funny. It's a kind of... it's the, the effects that... the the Mario can get, like, damp in this game, and also, like, covered in soot, and various other effects can apply to him temporarily, and I think it's a nice touch. Anyway, um, as soon as you repair the Odyssey, you immediately take off, and I believe it takes you straight to Metro without asking, which is interesting. Granted, the last place we asked to go was Metro, so it sort of makes sense, but we asked to go there quite a while ago, so, you know, it's a bit weird. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll now, we're now able to get to Metro Kingdom with 55 moons. I'm pretty sure that's the moon I'm number, I don't think I got any extras. Uh, to complete the entire game, I believe we need 124 moons, so we'll see if we have that number when we get to... Yeah, I know how to... Of course I know how to roll, I've been crouching for the entire game. <laughs> Alright, so Metro, it starts night time, which is kind of a cool effect in my opinion, it looks pretty neat. Uh, when you arrive in Metro, there we go. It's night time, it's raining, there's a whole lot of signs up everywhere bragging about Bowser and Peach's wedding because, I don't know, I guess Mayor Pauline must have approved that because she's, you know, the mayor, but I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, you are required to do the first story moon here in order to progress, which is basically climbing up to the top of the city hall where the help is and fighting the Mecha Wiggler. Um, as far as I know, there is no possible way to complete Metro, which requires 20 moons, without doing that. Uh, here's Mayor Pauline, looking alarmed because her city's in danger. I mean, yeah, but did, did you give him permission to do that, or...? Hmm, weird. Anyway, um, just gonna crouch here and let Cappy float with Pauline a little bit. Gay. <laughs> anyway, that's this video, and in the next video I'll be doing some of Metro Kingdom. Maybe not the whole thing, because it's kind of long. Maybe yes, the whole thing, because I'm pretty good sometimes. Not all the times. We'll see how we go.